Steve, uh, on the side of your arm, uh, I noticed the tattoo that says Steve. Is that to, re is that to, to so you don't forget who you are? Do I look amused? Can we have some hair to paint on or something? Uh. Oh, yes, it's, you do. look at this beautiful game. Look at it, it's like brand frigging new. It's come along beautifully, but we're, we're not, the video is not about haunted house. This is coming. We still have not finished it yet. Of course, all LEDs, new plastics, new tar ever got. The soup to, soup to nuts. Look, look at this packaging cocktail. Look, the Neo Geo dedicated cabaret. Look, a bad monitor. Ah, uh, look, picture tubes waiting to be recycled. But we're taking you over to the whore the warehouse. And we Did you just say whorehouse? No, I didn't. Said You're not house. hearing correctly? Oh, I hear you have the record player on over here. Eagles are on. No Eagles. Eagles. I don't follow baseball. We know. We know. Don't follow any sports. No, they're bad news. I'm going to unplug this. <laughs> here we go. We have a real rarity to show you. This is a stunt pilot. And we are selling this to somebody. He's going to get it you know, scrubbed and clean. We're selling it as is. But what makes this very unique, it's one of Midway's truly classic games. But the unique thing is, you need to hear this, that the guy that was my best man at my wedding, Scott Banks, and I bought this 19, when we were 17 years old. Gosh, that would make it 40, 40, not, 42 years ago. We purchased Rick Hoffman Vending out. And Rick Hoffman Vending sold us, I think, about 40 machines. Scott and I, and we went into business for ourselves selling games. It was really quite something. And Scott, after we, Scott and I we did a lot of sales and we had some fun. As a matter of fact, Kurt holding the camera, believe it or not, hard to believe, he's now 50. He peered through, I never forget, peered through the downstairs steps, uh, you know, the little, the little um, rails of the stairway handrail going down steps and saw me moving games into his basement at the time. He was just eight. I was scared. He's eight years Where old. Where is this guy? Kurt didn't know who, I, I couldn't scared. believe this. We stored some of the games we bought there because we didn't. There was no public storage. There was nothing like that, and we kept some games there. Well, Scott kept this in his house its whole life. Interior-wise, it's beautiful. Look at the colors. The black lights are there. The effects all there. This is going to be a showpiece one day. The fellow buying this, somebody who used to work for me at Temple University, and he wanted a true classic. He's going to bring this back to life. Actually, mechanically, it's fine. This cabinet just seems going to have to get an artist to come through and, and pretty this up. But what I want to show you is some of the neatest stuff of all. Now, hard to believe, but over two years ago, we filmed in high def a very detailed stunt pilot that is still in the editing station. It's not. I don't have the, the footage. So this company that came in PBR Productions that filmed a stunt pilot for a reality show, and they still have all that footage. That's a whole different stunt pilot. It's not this one. So we just picked this one up. 42 years in a private home. Look at how neat this is laid out. Let me tell you, Bally Midway, Midway, I can't even tell you. Pure, total genius. Thank you, Kurt turned on the light here. This, what you're seeing is the most beautiful handcrafted thing you could ever see in your life. How everything is adjusted just right, beautifully done, and everything's hooked up and attached just perfectly. I've never seen anything like it. Do you see how all the cards are laid out, what each one does? So it's help you as you do service. Oop, the automatic light. That's that automatic light on the stupid camera. See, when we get a real reality show, they'll come in here and do all this stuff now look, see here are these switches. Airplane switch, it's an up position. Airplane flies, it game over. Yep, I just flipped the switch. Can you hear it? Go up front, let's look. Right here. Oh, 
Here it is. <laughs> Look at that. Now, of course, with the door shut, see, it goes through this panel, this mirror, and reflects right on the screen. Go up front and see if you can see it, Kurt. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close the door. Yep, you can see it. It's way in the back. Way in the back. Can you see it, guys? <laughs> Isn't that terrific? You see, everything is sideways in this. It is such a clever piece of equipment. You come back again, pretty dirty. Waiting for the plane to get closer. I don't know if you can okay. see it. Let me close this door. Let me turn off the overhead. There lights. you go. Is that how? Yep. Yeah. See that? Mm hmm. So, this is the advertising they had advertising back then <laughs> that's pretty cool you know there's still stunt pilots out there guys uh, scott kept this scott was a very bright man brilliant he wrote a computer program he was a computer programmer he wrote a dos program for us for our mail order for all of our inventory it has never crashed it's never failed and we're still using it unbelievable man was brilliant and he thought this was a pure genius machine here comes the plane again there she is we'll turn that off now now this other switch says crash relay service switch for normal operation of game place switch in up position in down position switch uh, opens the circuit to crash relay for servicing so in other words if you wanted to service the crash relay here, oh, here's the crash so that's the crash so and there's a siren, energized by 180 unit. You can hear all these relays clicking away. That's the game over. That's the start. There's the crash. See, there's that siren. So that must go in here. You hear how that posts that? And that's something? That's for the bridge. See, that one there is the red crash lights. Oh, look, look. Do you see the lights flashing red? Look in the front. There are light bulbs. Okay, that's what that relay is. That's its whole operation. Clever, huh? That's our point relay. And here's our flash. Clever stuff. Look. Anyway, let's see what else we have to do. Oh, let's see. Um, anyway, the sound is created. Here's the motor speed. And there's a little pot there to adjust it. Here is the soundboard. There's three different sounds. It's still running after how many years, Kurt? 40 years. And here's the power sound generator and amplifier. And here's the volume control for that. So still works. Now look up here. Now this is your chain drive. And when we move that, let me try moving it. See the mountain flashes, see the ambulance come out? Okay, now, there's my plane. Now I can't, I can't make it in time. The faster you go, the more points you get. Now can you fly under the bridge? I can, can you? Okay, here we go. Now we gotta get up and go over the mountain. Then we gotta go. You're not gonna make this. You're not crash. Look at you. But if you crash, watch what happens. See? The little guy comes out. Now the red lights don't come. See, I crashed into the mountain, so the mountain crashed. But if I crash into the arch like this, then the red lights flash then. See? Isn't this unbelievable? And look, every time you do it, it changes direction. Unbelievable. Unfrigging believable. What a beautiful piece of equipment, quality equipment. And it still works. <laughs> that Scott, Scott passed away 
I think three or four years ago, he had this cupboard in his basement because he moved, I guess about, that's hurt, how long ago did he move? About 12 years ago. And he, he brought it out for a party. Oh, do you see how the, um, the bridge has its own crash light? So everything has its own crash. The red is the arch. Now watch, if I crash here. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no. Here, I'll crash here. So this bridge must have its own crash. Here we go. Yep, see? Everything you crash into is lit. Now look up top here. Here's our score and our time. I got bonus time. Keep playing. That's because I'm terrific. <laughs> Anyway, let me come over back over here again. Um, black light lights it, as you can see. Okay, and there's our speaker. It's got a big ass woofer pointing up top. This motor here controls the direction. Did you film that moving? I have to change I'm going. Right, and then it moves this mirror that keeps you in place. It's very clever stuff. And then see, look. It says here to service hinge control units, rotate turn buttons. We have turn buttons on this. God, it's been so long we haven't had the service. It looks like these come out too. Oh yeah, see look, these these pull out here, and you can pull out the play field for service. They did design this very cleverly. And this panel, see this panel here? That obviously comes out also, also very easily. Where are the lighting effects on the playfield? Yeah, there must be under, yeah, I, there's a light bulb. There's one light bulb, and there's another light bulb. So one one lights the um, the mountain, and the other lights the bridge, I guess. And then there's another down there where the other thing is, too. And that's something. Pretty neat. And of course, down here, you can see it has the old, oh, that's, that's the control for the uh, ambulance. Uh, ambulance. And look, they have easy design connectors, so all this shit could be taken out and put on a wall. Now this must be, unfortunately the cards are gone, whatever these control. Oh shitheads, I'm going to have to write a letter to Bally. Oh, God. The cards are missing. These are adjustments, I think, for how long you play the game. So maybe uh, he can find that sometime. And of course, there's even a slam switch. Oh, game over. So if anybody tries to monkey with the game, they will be rewarded with game over. Nice. Anyway, isn't this something? I think Eric is going to be very happy with his new toy. That's somebody to very carefully repaint this. It's going to look terrific. And it's big. It's big. Ain't going to go down the steps very easily. It is big. <laughs> it's a big baby. It's, she's a big one. Mm, 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 mm. It's bigger than you. Not too many things are. About the same size. You be careful, Kurt. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be a star soon. Ed Bassmaster is doing a segment on us. Who? A very funny man. And the video will probably be done next week. Nice. And Kurt, you may be even in it. I don't think I am. You don't think so, huh? Nope. Well, I think we're done over here for tonight, Curdy. Yeah, I got my stuff. Yeah, grab your... You are moving around, Kurt. <laughs> Kids. I think it's time we go. Is your wife here? My lovely wife. You have to learn. <laughs> my lovely wife. I learned. I got rid of mine. Oh... You know, Kurt's been working for me since 1983. Mm -hmm. 83. Now, Kurt, this is really amazing. That machine goes back to you when I first met you. Yeah. When you were eight. Yeah, this is it. That's the last connection, Kurt. <laughs> the last connection to Rick Hoffman vending. Isn't that something, folks? Well, I hope you learned something really neat. Stunt Pilot, one of the most amazing machines from an amazing company, Midway. Keep watching, more coming. Thank you! Bye. It's so nice. Now get out! <laughs>
Good.